Did you know that the pre-human's footprint identified in Crete is the oldest in the world? My name is Gabe and in this video, I will bring to you a report on the oldest footprints that have been discovered in the island of Crete. Please stay tuned. The oldest known footprints of pre-humans were found on the Mediterranean island of Crete and are said to be at least 6 million years old. This is as reported by an international team of researchers from Germany, Sweden, Greece, Egypt and England. The team was led by Tobingen scientists Uwe Kescher and Madeleine Bombe of the Senckenberg Center of Human Evolution and Paleoenvironment at the University of Tobingen. The study has been published in the journal Scientific Reports. The footprints from fossilized beach sediments were found near the West Cretan village of Trachelos. Using geophysical and micropaleontological methods, researchers have now dated them to about 6.05 million years before the present day. This makes these footprints the oldest direct evidence of a human-like foot used for walking. The tracks are almost 2.5 million years older than the tracks attributed to Australopithecus afarensis from Lotelli in Tanzania. This puts the Trachelos footprints at the same age as the fossils of the upright walking Aurorin togenensis from Kenya. The finds connected with this biped include femurs, but there are no foot bones or footprints. The dating of the Cretan footprint sheds new light on the early evolution of human parambulation more than 6 million years ago. The oldest human foot used for upright walking had a ball, with a strong parallel big toe and a successively shorter side toes, says Par Eichberg, a professor at Uppsala University and co-author of the study. This foot has a shorter sole than Australopithecus. An arch was not yet pronounced and the heel was narrower. Six million years ago, Crete was connected to the Greek mainland via the Peloponnese. According to Professor Madeleine Bume, researchers cannot rule out a connection between the producer of the tracks and the possible pre-human Grecopithecus Freiberg. Several years ago, researchers identified a previously unknown pre-human species in what is now Europe on the basis of fossils from 7.2 million years old deposit in Athens just 250 kilometers away. The study further confirms recent research and thesis of Bomer's team, according to which 6 million years ago, the European and Near East mainland were separated from humid East Africa by a relatively brief expansion of the Sahara. Geochemical analysis of Crete's 6 million year old beach deposit suggest that desert dust from North Africa was transported there by wind. The team arrived at an age of between 500 to 900 million years before present when dating dust-sized mineral grains. These time periods are typical for North Africa desert dust, the authors concluded. Recent research in paleoanthropology also suggests that the African herb Sahelanthropus could be ruled out as a biped, and that Aurorin togenensis, which originated in Kenya and lived 6.1 to 5.8 million years ago, is the oldest pre-human in Africa. Short-term desertification and the geographic distribution of early human predecessors could therefore be more closely related than previously thought. On the other hand, a desertification phase 6.25 million years ago in Mesopotamia could have initiated a migration of European mammals, possibly including apes, to Africa. And on the other hand, the second phase sealing off of the continent by the Sahara 6 million years ago could have enabled the separate development of the African pre-human Aurorin togenensis in parallel with European pre-humans. According to this principle, called Desert Swing by Bome, successive short-term desertification in Mesopotamia and the Sahara caused a migration of mammals from Eurasia 
to Africa. So, what is your thought on this discovery? Please leave a comment. To learn more of the recent archaeological discoveries, please check the playlist here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.